Conflict of interest. Arcus Games are planning on publishing one of my games. Kia ora koutou and welcome to Storm Raiders in about 3 minutes. Deluxe edition prototype used. It has a solo mode, it's a game for 1 to 4 players, playing time is medium, and it's a moderately complex game. There's an ancient storm here, blowing through the ruins of the old world, leaving debris and salvage in its wake. Can you brave the storm for the riches and glory it brings? The game ends after 6 rounds tracked here, with each player taking 2 actions per round. The winner is the player with the most points, and you mostly get those from completing deliveries, and from increasing your scoring dials, and collecting their matching components. Damage also loses you lots of points. Drafting. Each round you will draft one die from the central display. Variable player powers. Each raider and vehicle has unique powers. Contract fulfillment. There are contracts on the board for you to fulfill. Player turn. Each player takes a board and a raider. Adjust your three scoring dials based on the icons on your raider. Then take one of each vehicle type and place one damage on them and get a starting crew card. Crew cards are flipped over when used. When it's your turn you will draft a die. The dice color doesn't matter unless you have a specific power. To move, place that die on one of your vehicles. Vehicles. It must be a higher value than any die on that vehicle. You may then move that number of pips on the map along paths going through locations if you wish to. If you stop at a storm site, increase the dial matching that site by one step. Because we are using our trike, we can safely scavenge two goods from here. On our next turn we draft a 2 and place it on our aircraft. This is because we want to travel this route and it has an aircraft marker on it. Aircraft can travel normal routes as well. There's a contract here and we hand in those gathered resources taking its token for 6 victory points and 1 medal. The third type of movement is with your submarine. You can only move between locations with sub symbols. You just need a die that equals or exceeds their combined values. Each vehicle takes damage from different actions. Picking up ammunition, which is a wildcard resource, damages all vehicles. The trike takes damage when you place a 5 or 6 on it. The aircraft takes damage if you pick up 2 goods at once or place a 6. And for the sub it's ammunition and 2 goods at once. If you earn a mod, it is placed to cover up one of these damage triggers. You may also take a rest action, place a die and flip one of your crew cards back over. Then remove half the die's value in damage and all dice equal or higher than its value. So high dice repair a lot but remove few dice and the reverse is true for lower dice. Then gain either a crew member, a medal or a mod. The last die remaining in a round determines what direction and how far the storm moves. If the die is black, it follows the black arrow. Reverse if grey. The storm deposits resources in the area it moves through based on this chart, and any players in its path get hit for 1 damage to each vehicle. If you can't place a damage die, increase the slider. That shows what negative victory points each damage die is worth. At the end of each round, age up existing contracts and add new ones. Why would you like this game? Storm Raiders is a fantastic looking pickup and delivery game with a fun and engaging central premise. The storm drops loads of resources, but it's also very dangerous to get close to. With 6 rounds and 2 actions, you only get 12 opportunities to do something in the game and you have to make them count. Which is why you need to lead into the special powers your raider, vehicles and crews get and maximize every advantage you can gain there. And that's the Shim Phillips factor here. Storm Raiders looks like a fancy thematic game but beneath its chrome it's a tight action selection game about maximizing point scoring. And therefore I'd recommend it to people who want a quick paced action optimization game. Oh, best thing about this game is the art direction and how it looks. Simply stunning. However, rest actions in this game can feel very strong and that can be jarring. I also don't care that your special power is linked to the rest action and it's not an active thing. Also for a game with only 12 actions you end up doing a lot of suboptimal moves that just feel bad. And that's in no small part to how quickly the board state can change in between turns and how restricted movement is. I also expected a bit more in terms of customizing your vehicles throughout the game. For a different take on pickup and delivery try Wasteland Express Delivery Service. And for more focused dice drafting try Twa. Storm Raiders! No not like that! like this. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.